Hey everyone, welcome on back. Holy shit, I'm finally updating this. Um, I will give you guys a minute to recover from the whiplash both of the update and how we're in a completely different area now. We're in completely different gear. So since my last few videos, there's been an update and this forced update made me lose my data. Yes, I know about the persistent saving, but I was using regular saves and I lost about like two hours worth of work including getting a, a few nice pieces of gear so like you know what let's just restart from scratch and show off like the new stuff in the mod so we've re we've uh we're starting in the southeast part of the map now at least and currently our mission is to steal a ammo truck from this outpost so i'm just gonna do something very simple i'm just gonna run on in go in from the back grab the truck drive off so yeah uh, another reason why my updates have been, uh, you know, Jesus Christ, been like six months since the last video, is uh, it, it gets hot in California. Imagine a day where 88 degrees is considered cold. And I've pretty much had to have my, my AC on full time. Like, I couldn't even turn it off for 20 minutes to do a recording. Like, I turned the thing off in five minutes. My uh, room would just go from a nice cozy 80 to a fucking 100 degrees in five minutes it's it was ridiculous and e even at night like it would still get hella hot that ac was on pretty much 24 7 so i mean i'm pretty sure you guys wouldn't appreciate the sound of a rattling window ac constantly in the background An another problem though was that my nephew who is getting older and now knows how to talk properly doesn't want to not talk anymore which is causing constant problems i like to try and be somewhat uh, professional in this pseudo hobby that i don't make any money on and i would just not be able to handle him talking while i'm talking and anyway so yeah we're back arma 3 the anti stasi altus mod just getting a good look at this base. It's a. Uh, oh, I got just a little bit too close, so we're just gonna retard charge through the. To, to the outpost. Now, I, I do actually like this uh, southeast side that I've moved us to. Uh, don't think of this as a, a restarting, but just a relocation of sorts. Because that's how gorillas work, right? You know, you, you get fucked up on one part, you just go back in the desert and then you attack somewhere else. In particular for uh, this place here though, in the southeast part of the map, the everything's kind of spread out, which is actually really nice because it means that there's not, you know, 10 freaking patrols everywhere at all times. It's also nice for a frame rate because there's not a whole bunch of cities clumped together compared to you know, when we had to operate around Kavala and you got all those cities right there and all those bases having spawning patrols and yeah. So here we are. We just need to run over and grab that one truck. And so far it looks like there's just one single guy by the trucks. So if I could just get close enough to him, I could hop on in and just take off. No problem. And this kind of, this whole situation right here kind of makes me rethink about bullshit psychic AI because look how close I am and they have not like honed in on me. So may maybe, maybe the AI isn't as bullshit as I thought. Maybe I am wrong. I'm, I'm an adult. I, I can admit that. Alright, just gotta take out that one guy. Can't quite see him though. Kind of wish there was a, an option for me to just move my arm forward and then slide it a bit to the side so I can flatten the grass in front of me. There we go, got him. Now to hurry up getting that truck and get the hell out of here because I'm pretty sure everyone's alerted now. 
Oh, Jesus Christ, there's an entire fucking group right there. How did I not see those guys? How... How, how the fuck am I not dead? Seriously, how did none of you guys manage to hit me? <laughs> I'd like to once again go back to that one video where I was driving a truck through a hill and I got one shot from the back of the truck that managed to kill me in one shot. So hey, this is a pretty nice haul, all things considered. And uh, yeah, once again, since we're restarting, we're basically having to restart from scratch with our weaponry, but I cut, I'm, I'm cutting most of that shit out, so you know, I'm not going to include, okay, and then I went over here and shot a few guys, grabbed their guns, and took off, and I ran over here and shot a few guys. I'm, that, that's all just going to be completely off screen. Uh, same thing with these, like, smaller missions. Like, I'm including this one, because, I mean, come on. I stuck up behind a truck and took off in the middle of a base. That's, that's entertaining to watch. What isn't entertaining to watch is me, you know, dropping off a truck in one spot and standing there for 15 minutes, shooting one or two guys as they show up, and then leaving. So for the most part, most side missions are I'm just not going to bother with, unless, like, I, I still do record them, but, again, if it's just me standing around doing nothing, then, oh, sweet, Titan anti-aircraft missiles, that is actually going to be hella useful. And I think something might be up with the... Uh, arsenal system because you're supposed to have the main gun before it unlocks the ammunition for it but uh whatever now something i'm gonna show off i'm pretty sure i haven't shown off in the other videos i don't know i'll try to rewatch them are the contacts that you can talk to they're basically extra npcs that give you quests so it's nice because uh usually when you get one certain kind of quest and you complete it you can't get another one that same type for about half an hour this is just kind of going off the wiki, so I might be wrong. But then you can go to contacts, and they'll, they'll give you extra shit. Also, don't mind these these guys. Like I said, side missions that weren't really all that uh, exciting. Just, just leaving it all off screen. I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see me doing literally everything. But yeah, so th this, this area, I should probably show the map again. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, what the hell was that? <laughs> God, I, I legitimately forgot about that. Oh, um, so yeah, there, there's a, there's a, there's two bases nearby, two towns and one outpost. One of the two bases is an, is an, is an air base. And so, you know, it, it's kind of threatening because like right by these cities are the bases. So we need to be a little bit careful to not expose ourselves to to uh, you know the base side of the town oh and another thing about civilian contacts uh, same thing with the military contacts you cannot be over get to be incognito or else they don't talk to you but uh yeah so we just need to make sure that we're not exposing ourselves to to the enemy bases as we're moving around because things can get in a mess in a big hurry also occasionally the air base sends out like helicopter patrols when we start going loud but so far they've all been unarmed, so don't have to worry too much about them. If nothing else, it's kind of funny to just pull out a rocket launcher and shoot them and get like a hundred dollars for killing all the occupants. So yeah, unfortunately this guy wants us to take out a uh, a power plant. That's that's not something we're we're gonna quite do right now. That's a little bit out of our means. Even though this is actually another thing I forgot to mention. The, really, the southeast side, if you're first trying this mod, I highly recommend this using this area as like a, a tutorial of sorts because the two power plants here are actually very weakly defended. And we'll, we'll, we'll take those out soon enough here. Not in this video, though. Don't think I've shown off a kill a traitor mission either. Honestly, I don't even remember what, that, what I all showed off in the, in the last few videos. And we got another mission for a leaflet drop. Those are basically the supply convoy missions. Or not convoy, but you know, the ones where you drop off supplies in the town, except you do it three times. And usually you get a, a patrol of guards that spawn and head towards Soldier, your truck. One click, you know. What's up, guys?
So killing the traitor missions, those are uh, missions that, I mean, besides getting them from your various NPCs, it's also a mission that can just randomly appear. And there are missions that you actually really want to do something about. If you ignore them, you lose money and manpower, and I believe it also reduces your income for the next several uh, pay cycles, we'll call it. However, um, if you do like attack the guy and he runs off, it then spawns a uh, an attack by the CSAT. They they bring a helicopter over to your base and try to kill Petros. And thankfully, this time around, if Petros dies, you don't get a game over anymore. I believe it just uh, empties out some of your arsenal. Contact. So here we are. We get a general idea of where the guy is, but usually you can tell where he is because not only is there that CSAT truck over there, there's also like a, I don't know, eight guys in Jesus fucking Christ. That's not what I think it is, is it? Let's just back up and god damn it. Fucking dog. Dogs can, for whatever reason, pull you out of uh, being undercover. So time to get into a fight. And I brought along my favorite uh, light machine gun. Jesus Christ, that is a meaty sounding gun. I love it. I would always carry these around if walking with them didn't make my guy have an asthma attack. Come on, you little fucker. I know I saw you. You're somewhere over there, goddammit. One of these bulls are gonna hit ya. Rifleman, grid two, zero, zero, eight, niner. Well, that was fun. Uh, probably alerted the guy I was supposed to assassinate, though, so try to keep an eye on the truck just in case. That, that's what they do. Uh, if you ever do get on these, you'll want to pay attention to the truck. Because if the guy runs in the truck, he runs off to a base. And then, next thing you know, you got a helicopter heading straight for Petros. And you can tell when he gets alerted because it does that. It change, it unsigns the uh, quest for some reason. God, I hate these situations where I don't know where the guy is from. I'm... I'm being told there's guys that way, but I'm pretty sure the shots are coming from my right. Just giving myself some covering fire. Hey, there we go. Got the guy. Now, the only problem, though, is that there should be two CSAT guys around. And we definitely want to take those guys out because they got some uh, pretty good gear on them. Oh, Jesus Christ, we're missing the better part of our head. Actually, it is kind of funny with the way, uh, Jesus Christ, that was terrible. The way, uh, the helmet works in this game, you know, you get shot in the head instead of dying, your helmet gets shot off. Well, supposedly, that created a bug in regards to explosives, and that's why the mortars were such ass in that one video. Because the game would uh, basically just go, oh, he's wearing a helmet. Well, you know, the explosion hits your whole body, including your head. And the game goes, oh, okay, he's wearing a helmet. So remove the helmet and nullify all damage. At least I'm assuming that's how it worked. Uh, I just kind of read about it somewhere. And, oh, hey, there we go, one of the CSAT guys. But yeah, I, I just read that online, so I don't know if that's... You know, the specifics, all I just read was, oh yeah, this is causing a bug because of the helmet strip. That was it. Christ, I don't know what's worse, my aim or the fact the guy is not reacting at all. He's being shot. <laughs> oh, Christ. Man, they just keep on coming. Zero, five, zero, eight, also, uh... I'm not just being needlessly cruel, but I do believe the dogs actively uh, 
you know, because the AI, they, they also work on the same map as you do. And I'm pretty sure the, go the dogs, if it's part of the enemy faction, and it sees us, it updates the AI's map that I am here. So they'll, they'll know to come over and see me. Also, uh, while you do lose a NATO point for killing a guy, killing a, a surrendering guy, I do want his, uh, his vest. You need something like 30 vests, I think, 30 helmets as well to unlock them in the arsenal. Also, I apologize for any awkward stops. I'm actually kind of sick right now. But yeah, helmets and vests, very important shit that I want to unlock as soon as possible because it will let your your uh, troopers, well, supposedly. I don't. I think it was changed since the last version. But if you look in the top or in the top of the screen, you'll see. Uh, well, you can't see it now, but there's an army exp bar, and the way exp works in this game now is instead of before where it was just pay money, you you get them for you know finishing quests, finishing missions, and for, uh, for killing killing enemy troops. But it's uh, every division of four, then you have to pay money. I guess you can also pay a larger sum of money to automatically upgrade it from to the next division. But yeah, if you just wait, it's a lot cheaper. We're talking like, I don't know, $13,000 to go from 0 to 5. Also, I'm, I am I myself N5, teabagging the, uh, the officer. That's uh, how we treat traders here. And hey, sweet, we get ourselves a, a Kibata 6.5 millimeter, which is good because I believe that it's like the same caliber ammunition the light machine gun uses. It's just I won't be hawking up a lung every single time I take three steps. But lots of bodies, new start, you know what that means. We are just going to go ahead and cut out all the looting I'm doing. And of course, I would run right into a fucking sniper group. Uh, snipers too, uh, besides the, the main marksman who has the usual sniper rifle, the spotter usually has a Kibata as well. And Kibatas are something I kind of want to use as my like bread and butter weapons. Though it is a bit of a pain, since for the most part the AAF are all using... Uh, 6.5, not 6.5, 5.56 shots, so it, 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 I will run into ammunition problems, but the, 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 that's for later, don't worry about that. But hey, that just means I just got a sniper rifle and some ammunition to throw into the truck. So now we got everything, let's uh, head on back to base. I'll leave myself a little reminder, even though like all the bodies like seem to be cleaned out after you after you go about kilometer or two away so or maybe it's time based I don't know and uh, something else this model lets you do is wear earplugs which I will be using every single time I drive to you know bring down the engine sound and this is a pretty highly detailed interior looks got buttons it's got gauges look at all those buttons I don't know what they do but I'm pretty sure it's realistic and hey wait a minute is is that Oh my god, they have actually programmed that gear shift. It goes in reverse, it fucking goes into park, it goes into neutral. Once I start speeding up here, you're gonna You're gonna notice it's gonna start shifting gears as well. Look at that. Who would see that besides me? Besides me being the boring motherfucker who looks at in the interiors of vehicles. Also, isn't the gear Unknown shift kind contact. of backwards? It's meters. saying that Mary, it, it three, starts four, at third, five. goes to second, goes to first. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's it's a Russian vehicle, so they seem to do everything opposite of America, anyway. So. Mm -hmm. I see movement, soldier. Six hundred meters. You oh, know. Well, here we go. There's an enemy Flat. rifleman. Oh, Half a click. Man, that's North. always that's always nice. This is a pretty nice vehicle, but we probably won't really be using them. They only seat three people. You would think a vehicle of this size, and it's certainly not for holding a whole bunch of people. You could definitely have a larger uh, trunk space. 
but yeah that is it for this video guys I am glad to be getting back on this I hope to get videos out more often now I've since been moved to a morning position where I go to work at 3 in the morning so hopefully I can actually get some time to record while my nephew was still asleep though that I'm not, you know I'm not gonna say anything I'm, I don't want to jinx it but yeah I have like 300 or so gigs of video footage because I have been playing constantly and recording it all so I, I got the footage it's just a, 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 a it just I just need to actually get time to record it record the commentary I mean unless you want me to just upload it without commentary but I'm not a long player I'm a let's player and even then I'm barely that I need ammo but hey let's go ahead drop off our stuff we are actually going to get ourselves some 6.5 ammunition, which is nice, so I can effectively have infinite ammo for my uh, Kibata. So, all in all, not too bad. Hope you guys enjoyed, and hopefully I can get more than one video out in six months. Good night, everybody.